Hey guys, it's Megan and today I am doing a Halloween makeup look and as you can tell this is kind of my interpretation of the Harley Quinn Halloween makeup. I didn't want to go with the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn because it was like too many people are going to be doing that and I thought that going back to the original Harley Quinn colors seemed like a good idea. I decided to wear a red t-shirt and a black a uh, leather jacket because I think it looks like the whole badassness of Harley Quinn. She's like my favorite supervillain. I really enjoyed doing this look. I didn't think it was going to turn out as good as it did. I did a cut crease black and red look and this whole look is basically black and red based, obviously. And I think that you guys are really going to enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how I got this Harley Quinn makeup look, please keep watching. Hi guys, I forgot to mention in the intro that if you're new here, you should totally subscribe to my channel so you can join my awkward little internet family. I've already primed and moisturized my face, so to start off this makeup look, I am taking my NYX HD Concealer in the shade Bare to conceal my blemishes and dark circles, and I'm blending that out with my ELF Flawless Concealer Brush. Harley Quinn is very pale, so I'm taking my lightest foundation, which happens to be my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I'm just applying the foundation and blending it out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. To set my face, I'm taking my ELF High Definition Powder in the shade Sheer. Next, to contour and highlight my face, I am taking my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and first taking this shade to contour my face. Then I'm using this shade to highlight my face. Harley Quinn usually wears a black mask, but when she doesn't, she is usually depicted with black eyebrows. So to fill in my brows today, I am taking this black shade on an angled brush from my Morphe 35C palette. So I did my other brow and my left eye off camera, and now I'm going to show you how to get this eye look. First, I'm priming my lid with my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion and blending that out with my finger. Going back to that same Morphe palette, I'm setting the primer using this pale yellow shade. Next, I'm taking this dark gray shade and blending that into my crease. This look involves a lot of blending, so I hope you have some patience if you plan on recreating it. Then I'm taking this black shade right here and deepening my crease. And also running that on my lower lash line. This is the same shade I used to fill in my brows earlier. Now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk to cut my crease and create a solid base for the red shadow. Next, with a flat eyeshadow brush, I am taking this bright red shade and placing that on top of the white. Then switching to a fluffy brush to intensify the color. I'm also blending it out on the inner portion of my lower lash line. I ended up needing to use my finger to get the intensity I was going for. I'm done with that palette for now, and I'm moving on to the eyeliner. Using that same jumbo eye pencil from before, I'm using an eyeliner brush and transferring the pencil to the brush and creating a white line on my lid and then running it on the very inner corner of my lower lash line. <laughs> Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner in the shade Jet Black and creating a wing on the inner and outer portions of my eye.
same liquid liner, I'm creating a messy heart on my cheek, similar to the one that is shown on the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn. Once I had the heart in place, I took a black shadow to give the heart more of a smoky, messy effect. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applying it to my top and bottom lashes generously. If you want the look to be more wearable, I would suggest stopping here and just throwing on a red lipstick, but this isn't where I'm going to end this look. Now I'm taking my NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Sienna to sketch out the triangle shapes below my eye and above my brow. This took forever, by the way. Now with my NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Kitten Heels and a lip brush, I am filling in the triangle shapes and smoothing them out. Then going back to that red eyeshadow from before, I am setting the lipstick and making the skin around the triangles look irritated. Now I'm lining my lips with the same NYX lip liner from before. Once my lips are lined, I'm taking this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Stone Fox on a lip brush and creating a Joker-esque smile. This took a lot of patience and a lot of blending as well. Going back to that same red lipstick, I am creating somewhat of a gradient by placing it on the center of my lips and blending it out with that lip brush. What do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new here, please subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a big thumbs up because it helps out my channel and let me know what kind of video you want to see me do for my last Halloween makeup video of this season. I'm doing one more Halloween makeup look for October before Halloween and I want to know what you guys want me to do. If it's possible, I'll try to do it. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and like my interpretation of Harley Quinn. And like I said, please subscribe, leave a big thumbs up, and turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.